Hi, Angie here for tabletblog.de. I've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 9.7 in front of me and today we want to do a little gaming test. I've got Beach Buddy 1 on here right now and as you can see it runs quite smoothly. The same goes for a lot of other games like Temple Run 2 or Tap the Jumper or Angry Birds. Those are not uh, the most demanding games of course but they run smoothly on the Galaxy Tab A. That does not go for all games of course and we will take a look at that. Um, Let's go to the hardware first. Inside runs a 1.2 GHz quad core chip together with 1.5 or 2 GB of memory, depending on the version. And we've got a quite low resolution display. The resolution is only 1024 by 768, so it's very, very low resolution as with the first iPad, for example. And that is one of the reasons, one of the reasons why the games run quite smoothly on here, I would guess. Um, but that doesn't go for all games. One game that does not run as smoothly as Nova 3 Freedom Edition. It's a quite demanding 3D shooter game and it runs okay on here. You can definitely play the game, but time to time there are a couple of lags. It's not as bad as with the Huawei MediaPad T1 Pro or the Acer Kunetok S. I tested a couple of weeks ago. Both run a Snapdragon 410 chipset. And yeah, the Galaxy Tab A um, runs a little bit better with Nova 3 Freedom Edition, but as I said, a couple of lags are there. But that does not go for all games. Um, other ego shooters like Dead Trigger 2 run smoothly. So overall, it's quite an okay gaming tablet. Um, most games that are popular on the Play Store will run smoothly on here, and that should uh, be the case for a couple of months to one, two years maybe. But still, I wouldn't really recommend it as a gaming tablet because resolution is quite low. I don't mind it that much while well, doing games, but for reading in text, the resolution is just too low. The texts are not sharp enough. Anyways, this is the gaming test with the Galaxy Tab A. Most games run smoothly on here, not all, but a lot of them. I'm NJ for tabletblog.de. Thanks for watching.